basically there has been no new drug for neurodegeneration for 15 years. And I think the reason for this is that no one has discovered the real reason why the cells in Parkinson's and in Alzheimer's, why they embark on this cycle of self-destruction. Because as we've seen with a stroke, if the brain is damaged, you can get recovery. So what happens in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's? My own view is that the cells that are vulnerable to these diseases are special. We know they come from a different part of the embryo during development, so we know that's not unreasonable. And my own suggestion is what is special about these cells, unlike all the other cells in the brain, is that they have kept a very special ability that other cells don't have, is that when they are mature, they could still grow again if they want. Now this means if they are damaged, they'll try and grow again. But the big problem is that by trying to grow again in the context of the mature brain, it actually is toxic rather than beneficial. And so that's why I say that neurodegeneration could be a misplaced form of development. And only this subgroup of cells are like this, which is why only certain cells are lost. There are many similarities between Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. And I think there are chemicals in common, and it's those chemicals that we're working on, which we think are mobilized when there is damage, which could lead to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And if we could stop it, or if we could measure it in the, in the blood, that would be a great advance.